welcome to Sojourns, where we journey into sewing. Hi, everybody. My name is Chris, and this is Sojourns. Thank you. I'm so glad you joined me in the sewing room today. I have a really fun project for you that I'm going to let you in on right from the very beginning. But first, let me just say that um, thank you and welcome back to all of the subscribers, all of you who have watched me before and tuned in. And if you're new, if this is the first time you've found my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. If you like what you see and you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right down below. Ring the little bell, click that. So anytime I post new content, you'll get a notification and you won't miss anything. All of the information I share is generally in the description box below, as well as ways we can connect on social media like Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube. So today, what I have for you is a refashion of sorts. I went to this really cool shop near my house and I bought a pair of pants. They're knit pull-on pants and they have an American theme. Let me show them to you. So this is it here. So it has a faux fly, faux button. So they're knit, they're pull-on, they're stretchy, as you can see, still have the price tag on it. They do have functional pockets, but look at this cool American, let me move that <laughs> price tag, which I still have on. It's this cool American print. And I thought, wouldn't these be fun to wear for all those American holidays? And if you're watching from another country, I mean, it's red, white, and blue, you can wear them too. And in the back, it has functional belt loops, functional pockets. Again, these are stretched. Let me just throw this over my shoulder here and you can see that it's a knit. So it's like a legging, but they look like jeans. And I thought, they're so cute we have. So I really wear to try them on, but I always carry a measuring tape with me because you never know. Seamstresses do that, right? So I saw the, and right now I'm generally wearing a size 10 or eight. So these are marked medium, large, medium, large. So that's 10, 12, right? And I measured the hip flat and I measured the stretch of the hip. So I knew that they would fit me. Well, I thought that they would fit me. Anyway, I'm going to show you some very unflattering pictures of what they look like on and what I'm going to do about it. So the thing is, these are skinny legs. And I really couldn't quite tell that when I bought these. So I put them on and also they have a very short rise. Doesn't work for my age <laughs> and, and my very curvy shape. So they're just too low rise and I really can't get them up enough to even be modest. And they're very tight in the legs because they're skinny, skinny jeans, not my style. But I think this is so cute and I wanna wear it for 4th of July, maybe Memorial Day, things like that. So what I thought I could do is make this into a skirt because for the skirt, the rise doesn't matter. So my plan is I'm going to cut up the inside seam and open that all up, all the way up to the faux zipper. So I'll, uh, this little bit of rise here on both the front and back. And then I'm going to take the lower leg. I'll probably cut these off at knee length. And I'm going to take the lower leg on each one. And I'm going to create a V panel here and sew it so that I have a skirt. This way I don't have the skinny leg problem. I don't have the rise issue. It already fits in the hip. I'm very hopeful that this will work out, but I'm starting today. So I wanted to just film this real quick and tell you what's happening and show you these awesome, cute knit faux pants like leggings. And this is what they look like before. And follow along. I'll show you what I'm doing step by step and we'll see how it looks at the end. Thanks Sojourners, I'll be back soon. All right, so you saw the fit on those. Let's see if we can improve on this by transforming it into a skirt. So I marked down where I wanted my skirt to be. And for me, that'll be just above the knee after it's hemmed. And I've drawn a line across here. So I'm taking 14 and a half inches off. So I'll cut this one and then I'll put it alongside this one and cut this one. And have you ever seen these electric scissors? These are by Black & Decker. I got these as a Christmas gift for my parents. It's fantastic. It comes with two blades, one for regular material, one for extra thick material. This one will be fine. It's rechargeable, USB. It's loud, but it really saves your hand. I recently had carpal tunnel surgery because of sewing and 
all the pressure you use, even on rotary cutters and ergonomic rotary cutters and scissors. So anyway, let's get on with it. I've marked it here with the chalk. Let's, uh, let's cut these down. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna do the same on this leg. I'm going to place this one on top of that. I'm gonna turn this a little bit. Let's line this up. Right, there we go. Mark it across. And go ahead and cut this. All right, so now we have our two bottom legs that I'm going to use as panels for here. Next step is I'm going to open this seam and then I'm going to open one of the seams on here and we'll put this in as a panel and we'll see how that goes. I'll show you, but let me go ahead and just seam rip these open and then we'll see where we go from there. Here you can see I have body stocking underneath, but here you can see that now this skirt fits me right at my natural waist, fits along the hips. No more skinny pants. We're going to have a really cute and fun skirt. So here are the panels, <clears throat> the lower leg panels. This is the hem of the pants. I'm going to take that hem out and I started doing that because I want to turn it upside down so that I can match the blue side and the red side, front and back. And then I'll just hem the entire skirt, including the new panel we put on. So the next step is to open up this back crotch curve a little so I can overlap these and have it lay nice and flat. We don't want that to stick out. And then I'm going to tuck these under the front. We're going to mark them using with a seam allowance and sew them in and we'll do that together. Okay, so let me show you what we have here. This is the back of the pants, obviously, and I have them laying flat. Here's the side seam and the side seam in the back pockets. I have opened up that crotch curve just to where it starts to tuck under. And that was about the end of this blue, so. And then I have taken this and I have folded it back until I can get this to lie flat. If I folded it along the normal seam, I have way too big a crossover, and you see that just doesn't look right. So I'm going to take the liberty of folding that back a good amount until I can get this to lay flat, and that looks fine. And now what I'll do, there's a lot of bulk under here because I have all the panels, but those will be trimmed down. And then what I'll do next is I'll continue this top stitch and just finish that here and end it so this is now right onto this other leg. I've tucked in the one leg. And what I wanted to be sure is that I can take this double seam and I've aligned the double top stitch seam from the outer portion of this leg panel so that I can continue. Now this will go off, but then I'll also continue it straight down so it comes right over that. So I don't have to take this out and redo it. I've just lined it up. So these are both laying flat. That's what you wanna be careful of. Then I'm going to take my tailor's chalk. I'll use white for this side. And I'm going to just mark right along this all the way down. And then I will add seam allowance, of course, to this. And I'll finish it on my serger. And I'm going to use my red. Here's a little piece of my red and I'm going to mark along here so that I can see it, making sure this lays flat. And I'll just come along and mark that. I don't want to be in your way. So the first step is to pull out the panel and sew this. And then I'll put the panel back in, line it up to where I've marked. All right, now I'm going to flip this whole thing over and show you what I have in the front because I have it all pinned. And here's what I have in the front. Same idea is I'm going to take this seam that comes from the faux zipper and I've lined up this second, this panel, so that I can just copy that. I will tuck this under a little so there's no raw edge and I will just sew right down there, continue that. Sew these together, right sides together. And I'll cut this hem to, the, yeah, I'll cut this even and then we'll hem that up. We should be ready to go. So here we are under the needle. I have the front of the pants moved out of the way. And I'm just going to sew that curved crotch seam like I showed you before where I overlapped it.
And let's go around do the second row. I'm just gonna stop here and make sure I have this tucked under. Okay, there we have, I'll cut those off of course, but now we have the two rows of stitches holding down that back crotch curve. So here you are looking at the front of the pants slash skirt. And I'm gonna pull this in a little bit. So you can see that faux fly and I fold it over and lined up those double stitches with this. This is the panel portion from the lower legs. Let me move this back and I'll turn it to the inside so you can see. Okay, what you're looking at now is the front of the skirt. Here's the front pockets here. And I have that panel that we put in here taped. So all I'm gonna do is take this to the sewing machine and you see I have matched up this center seam. I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew down each of these. We'll neaten up this hem at the end, don't worry about that. So I'll take this to the sewing machine We'll sew this, we'll do the same for the back. We'll sew right along those panels and then we'll neaten up the hem and try it on and see what we get. Follow along. All right, let's, uh, let's get on sewing this here. sewed that second seam on the front and now I've turned to the back and I have this all laid out and we'll do the same thing with this panel on the back. The only difference is, and let me move in here, we eased up that crotch curve. Remember it used to come all the way out to here which was too exaggerated and we folded that over a good bit and we eased it up a little bit. I have this seam allowance folded over here and then I've clipped into it and I've done the same thing with that side so that I can take this panel that we're going to put in and I'll be able to attach it right here at this seam. So this will get top stitched down and then we will start attaching the panel here and here. I'll pull back out and then we'll neaten up that hem just like we're going to do on the front. Well, here is our finished skirt. I used my curve ruler and made a little curved hem and then I just use my cover stitch, my triple cover stitch. Let me come in, show you that, to hem it up. It looks beautiful. I finished the edges with my serger on the panels that we put in. And it's just so cute to refashion something that didn't fit into something that does, and it's whimsical and fun. Let me show you some model shots. So here we have our finished skirt from a pair of pants that weren't going to fit to a really cute, fun skirt. And fashion is fun, so why not? We saved the day, cute method. Here we have the whole look, the skirt. You can see here, fits really nicely at my waist. And this is just such a cute look. I mean, I had a pair of pants that I couldn't use. And now I've got this fun, whimsical skirt and it's got this little mermaid look that you might, it has this little mermaid look that you might see on a bodycon dress, functional pockets, front and back. And we turned an ill-fitting pair of pants into a super fun skirt. I mean, what's fashion if it can't be fun? And before I say goodbye, let me just, I thank you always for joining me here on Sojourns. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And I will see you again next time in the sewing room. Bye, sewing friends.